My life is just a mess today. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to declutter your life. So I have this lovely list of things that I'm going to tell you, how I've decluttered my life recently, and they're in no particular order, so I will be bebopping around and talking about things... yes. Number one is something that goes with a lot of the other things that I'm going to talk about, but it's purchasing a external hard drive. So I recently purchased an external hard drive, it's one terabyte, it's holding a lot of stuff on it right now, and basically I've just put a lot of photos on there from my Facebook where I've kind of put all of the photos that I wanted to keep on so far, a lot of home videos, um, so basically what I'm saying is that if you have photos or DVDs of like home videos, I have a ton of recital videos that I've put onto there and I also have a ton of photos that like my mom scanned into the computer and put on an external hard drive. So if you have physical photo albums, physical DVDs that you'd like to put on there, you can buy a converter. Uh, if you're just doing photos, you don't have to have a converter, but if you do have DVDs, most likely you're going to have to convert it first, but you can only do that with uh, home DVDs. You cannot do that with normal DVDs because they have protections on them, so just so you know. That's going to really clear up your space. It's really cleared up my space. I don't have all of this giant stack of DVDs anymore and now I can watch them whenever I want to. You can also do this like I had a memory book that I took photos of and scanned those photos into my computer and then just put them on the hard drive so if you have stuff that you want to remember but you don't necessarily need to have physically with you all the time that's a great place to put it. This also goes with CDs, but instead of putting them on a hard drive, you can put them right into iTunes. So I'm not exactly sure how to get CDs that you've put on one computer onto another computer. Someone let me know how I'm supposed to use the cloud to do that or if it's even possible. But if so, that would be great because then you could just put it in the cloud and it would be there forever instead of you having to like somehow transfer it or anything like that. But I also had a ton of musical CDs so I ended up putting those straight into iTunes and then I could get rid of them. I also have been converting tapes onto iTunes. So since I have a tape deck in my car and I do not have an aux cord, I've been purchasing a lot of Harry Potter books on tape and stuff like that to play in my car. I do have a like tape deck that can plug into your phone that turns into an aux cord for your car. But what I've been doing is I purchased a tape converter that you connect to your computer and it converts tapes into mp3s. So basically I've just been doing that for a very long time. I recently finished that before I started school. It takes a really long time to do if you're doing a lot of tapes um, because you have to listen to them all the way through while they're recording and you can't just like fast forward it and it'll record it. So it's a lot of work, but if you don't have that many tapes or you're really dedicated to doing it and want to declutter all of that kind of stuff, it's definitely worth it. Also, I am selling a lot of things, including the Harry Potter tapes that I'm talking about, some of my clothing, a lot of my books and other electronics on Depop. So I will link that down below if you are interested in purchasing anything from there and you can check out my shop and see what, if you'd like anything. Going along with like listening to tapes and books and all that kind of stuff, Buying audiobooks instead of buying actual books is a huge way that you can reduce your waste and also declutter your life. So I am someone who loves a good leaf and through a book. I love having a physical book with me, but I usually purchase them from thrift stores. Um, when I'm done with them, I donate them somewhere or give them to a friend that would 
like to read them. So that's a way that you can kind of declutter all of your books, you know, keep the ones that you haven't read yet and you know you're going to read in the future. Um, I do have a pretty extensive so far play collection uh, because I'm an actress. But if that's not something that you're interested in, um, it's really hard to find plays and monologues online. So even the plays that I've already read, I tend to keep because if I perhaps need a monologue, I can rifle through all the plays that I have and find something that's suitable for an audition. So it's kind of a situational one. Like if it's making you happy and it's useful, definitely keep it. But if you're not going to read it or if you already have read it and you're not going to use it again or read it again, why are you keeping it? Someone else could be reading that book. This is the same kind of concept with clothing. So if you have an excessive amount of clothing, go through your clothing, make piles of what you are definitely keeping, stuff that is a maybe, so maybe it's not in season, so you're not sure if you're going to be wearing it when the next season cycle comes around, but you still want to keep it just in case you're going to wear it. Like, I have a more summer wardrobe and a more winter wardrobe because of where I live and the fluctuation in seasons. So I'm not going to donate something that is in the summer season now because it's winter. So I might wear that in the summer. I'm not sure yet. And then make a pile of absolute no's. Don't throw away your clothing, please, unless it is absolutely like shredded and destroyed and disgusting and no one would ever wear it again. Please donate anything that you are not using anymore because people can use it. People can use it whether you donate it to like a local woman's shelter or a local shelter or an animal shelter. Sometimes they'll take like old clothing to make it into beds. Goodwill or Salvation Army or anywhere like that. Please, please, please donate your clothes. Someone else will make good use out of it. Along with this, same thing with your shoes. If you have a thousand pairs of heels that you only wear on one occasion, get rid of them. Really, they're taking up a lot of extra space in your life that is not necessary and it's just clutter and it's really annoying. And personally, I always find that a clean living space equals a clean mind. So I'm able to really think and do my work and uh, explore and be creative when I have a clean space. Moving on this train of space and how you treat your space, get rid of decorations that are not necessary and don't bring you joy. So we have a lot of like tchotchke, just knick-knack things that we keep around because they're cute but they don't really serve us any purpose. I'm not talking about anything like sentimental that you want to keep, anything that brings you joy that you like to decorate with, but we keep a lot of random stuff on our surfaces that we don't necessarily use or don't necessarily need. So my solution for this is I am a very like spiritual person. I've been recently getting into Wiccanism and like witchcraft and that kind of stuff. So I have my altar set up and it has all of like my, a lot of my crystals, it has a lot of the like things or talismans that I enjoy from that kind of theme. And so I have that area where I put all of that stuff, but it all has a purpose to me and I use it every day and it is important to me and bringing me joy. And then I decorate around with like different crystals or different like symbols like that that I put around on my surfaces. Um, and that's all I do. I don't have random like animal things like my grandmother used to have so many freaking knickknacks and my grandfather had like keychains and stuff that he would just keep around. So it's kind of a give and take like if it's bringing you joy and you use it, keep it. But if it's just unnecessary clutter on your surfaces, get rid of it. Also along those lines is getting rid of extra pillows, extra blankets that you don't use. Now, I'm a woman who loves her extra blankets. I probably have, uh, in that basket over there, I have three blankets, at least one of them is a mermaid blanket that you put on and you look like you have a mermaid tail. Pretty awesome if you ask me. I have a blanket on here, I have a blanket on that chair, I have probably seven or eight blankets downstairs in the pile for people when they're hanging out on my couch, but 
they do all serve a purpose and they do all get use out of them. And if I wanted to make a blanket pile of myself in this nice bed in a cocoon, I could. I have blankets for outdoors, so when I'm going outside, I can lay down like a picnic blanket and I don't care about it getting dirty and stuff like that. But no one needs excessive throw pillows unless they're being used. Who actually uses the throw pillows on their bed? No, you just throw it, ooh, pun intended, off of your bed when you are trying to go to sleep or get ready for bed. So think about like the decor home, I don't know what they're called, but that category of goods. <laughs> think about how often you use those, if you're going to use those, if someone else could use them more. Now moving on to your kitchen. We all keep extra silverware, extra plates, extra cups, extra bowls extra kitchen gadgets that we never freaking use. I had a, a zoodler, or the thing that makes uh, noodles out of vegetables. I gave it to my friend because she's gonna use it more than I'm gonna use it. But I just had it and I was like, oh, this is a great idea. Like I used it maybe one time and then never used it again. Same thing with my Belgian waffle maker had the Belgian waffle maker, used it maybe one time, never used it again. Don't buy or don't keep in your kitchen kitchen gadgets that you're never going to use. You think you're going to use them. You never will. Same goes along with silverware and cups and bowls and all that kind of stuff. Like, you have a ton of extra ones of those. I know I do. And when I move out this year, um, after I leave and pick up all my stuff. I'm gonna go through all of those because I not only have the bowls and plates that my mom has picked up t for me that are like Corel, they're like thinner, but they're really nice. But I also have a bunch of bowls and plates and cups that my friend donated to me because she got them for free. So I have to go through them and decide what I wanna keep and what I don't wanna keep and what I need and what I don't need. And it's just gonna declutter your cabinets. You're gonna have a lot more space for food rather than all your silverware and stuff. Now moving on to the bathroom. So, we keep a lot of lovely products in our showers, in our cabinets, in our lives, really. Um, I am someone who doesn't use a lot of makeup anymore, doesn't use a lot of shower products anymore, but I used to use 15 different products every time I went into the bathroom. You really don't need them. You really don't need them. Like, you can pare them down. Trust me. Try to find the things that are more simple, that take up less space, uh, and also don't buy in bulk unless you have to. So I'm a definite breaker of this rule sometimes. Um, I always like to buy things like soaps in bulk because they're cheaper and I feel like I'm going to use them faster, whatever. But if you are buying in bulk, buy your one bulk item and wait until you are almost all the way through with that before you buy it again. I've had that problem where I buy like 16 lotions and then don't go through all of them before I buy 12 more lotions. <laughs> use up what you have before you buy something else. It'll save you like knowing what you like and knowing what you dislike. It'll save you money and it will also save you space in your cabinets. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. Also, don't forget to check out my Depop if you'd like anything in there. There are some things that I've mentioned in here that are actually up on my Depop and ready to be sold. You guys can check out my previous video on this side of the screen and my previous vlog on that side of the screen. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video, which will hopefully be faster, sooner, yeah, than this one. Bye.